According to some experts, automation could kill as many as 73 million US jobs by the year 2030. So what does this mean for Americans working in the most at-risk industries? To discuss, I'm joined by Earl Jones, a truck driver who's concerned for his future. Earl. One thing's for sure, Lou. The robots are coming. There ain't a damn thing I can do about it. Driverless cars seem inevitable, especially with companies like Google and Tesla investing in them. But maybe this is an opportunity for you to retrain for one of the new jobs that are sure to spring up. Trucking is all I know. I got over 20 years of road behind me. And even if I do find a new line of work, that ain't going to stop the robots from coming for our women. Are you saying automation threatens female-dominated professions as well? I'm not talking about lady work. I'm talking about lady flesh. What? Look around, Lou. Scientists are building male sex robots. They got these motorized penises like you never seen. Right, I have never seen a motorized penis. You will. It's our future, competing with these robot studs. They never get lower back pain like us trucking mortals. They got anniversaries and other arithmetic stored in their CPUs. They're always ready to service a lady. It's not fair, Lou. Okay, Earl, I'm gonna stop you there for many reasons, but mainly because I have to introduce our next guest who's been waiting patiently. We've seen automation affect the food court, but what about the basketball court? Joining us to discuss is professional referee Lance Stratton. Great to be here, Lou. Can we talk some more about those male sex bots? Sure thing. No, 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 no. That's not why we booked you guys. We wanted to talk to you about how automation will impact your respective professions. Okay? So, Lance. They say using AI in sports will eliminate human error from refereeing. Does that worry you? No, I'm not worried. When you take away human error, you sacrifice human heart, and heart is what the game needs. Mr. Confidence over here. Earl, please. Brother, I've shared the court with LeBron James. I can compete with these robots. That's just hubris, Lance. You can't compete with these sex bots. Picture LeBron James, but now he's a vibrator. You don't have to picture okay, that. Okay, I'm picturing it, but I'm not scared. I'm motivated. As long as men work hard and evolve with the times, no robots are going to steal our women. Well, that's good news. Let's move on. A robot stole my wife. You lost your wife to a sex robot? Oh, yeah. And it wasn't even one of these new models you see around today. It's an earlier generation of the bot. Spending all that time on the road, I wanted something to keep my lady company. But I guess with them spending all that time together, something was bound to happen. What the hell kind of robot did you buy her? They called it a Roomba. A Roomba? Even its name was sexy. A Roomba is a robotic vacuum cleaner. Vacuuming's its primary function. Its secondary function is giving my wife pleasure. That's not true. Then why'd she leave me, Lou? Because you stopped innovating. What? what? It's been happening for centuries. Technology eliminates one job, but creates entire new industries. Your woman runs off of the vacuum cleaner. You reboot. Think like an entrepreneur and see what you can offer the marketplace. You gotta pleasure a woman like no robot can. How can I do that, smart guy? I don't run on batteries! You run on something even stronger than a battery. You're pointing to your heart. Oh my god. You can do so much a sex bot can't do. You too, Lou! Just leave me out of this. You can share a good cry in bed. I always cry in bed. You can remind her of her father. No sex bot can do that. I hope. And a robot can't give her a baby. That's right. I did give my lady a beautiful baby. Oh, oh no. no.